what's up guys this is jeff with another video today i want to show you how to assemble this wooden storage cabinet model 421191 the dimensions of the package sent to you are 73 inches long by 19 inches wide by 5 inches high and its weight approximately 65 pounds as you can see the assembled size of this storage is approximately 35 inches long by 18 inches wide by 66 inches high okay let's start find a clean area like a carpet or cardboard and cut it around the box and take out the pieces from inside and arrange them around you in a way that you can easily read the numbers on it assembling in the manual is a little different from this assembly because i do some back and forth steps based on my work experience so if you want to be with me on this path prepare a cup of coffee and get to work the required tools for assembling are a phillips screwdriver size 2 or medium and a hammer also if you have a drill the assembly will be done faster Start the assembly with two H2 parts and turn eight cam screws or part 8F inside them. The screws must be completely turned inside the wood until the edge. If you use a drill, be sure to put the drill on the lowest power value and, if necessary, gradually increase its number until drill completely turn the screws into the wood. I recommended that if you are not familiar with the drill, do not use it. Connect part H2 to part A2 in such a way that the screws on part H2 are on your right side and the holes on part A2 are aligned with part H2. Also, if you pay close attention, you will see that during the connection, the storage base is facing you and then connect them with hidden cams or part 1F. When tightening the hidden cams, make sure that the parts are completely attached to each other and the hidden cams must be completely inside the hole and then turn them. Attach part P2 to part A2 in such a way that the holes on part P2 are on the right side. Connect part P2 to A2 by 4 screws 147S.
On the sides of part P2, you will see two holes close to each other that you should use the holes that you are on the outside of the part P2. Also, if you pay attention to part A2, the holes have already been made into it. And when the holes on both parts are aligned, all the mentioned items have been observed. In the same way, connect part B2 to H2. First, put the H2 screws on your right side. In this case, the storage base is placed on the opposite side of you. Connect the two parts with hidden cams. Place the holes of part P2 on your right side and connect with part B2 with screws number 147S. Turn three cam screws or part 8F into part D2 and N2 as shown. Connect two middle brackets or part 4G with two screws or part 1S on part F2. Make sure that the brackets are aligned and parallel to the end of part F2. Now, connect the safety strap or part 97 on part N2. Keep the rest of parts 97 and use them to connect the storage to the wall at the end of assembly. I strive just to say I'm alright 
And for the first time in a long time, I'm alright. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. Now connect part F2 to part N2. As you see, the holes of part F2 may be closed. You can connect it to part N2 with a very small blow or first open the hole with the screwdriver, then connect it to the part N2 and then connect it with hidden cams or part 1F. And finally, insert four wooden dowels or part 15F into the holes of part N2. Now connect part D2 to part C, making sure that the groove of the part D is placed on the top side and toward part C. Also the notch of part C is placed on the upper side and opposite to the direction of connection with part D2. Connect parts with two screws or part 113S to each other and make sure that the screws are connected in the desired place on part C to prevent it from being damaged. To connect part L to part C, first put two cam dowel or part 2F inside part C and then connect part L to part C in such a way that the notch edge is on the top and the holes for the hidden cams are in front of part D2 and then connect them by two hidden cams or part 1F. Connect part I to part L so that the groove is close to the edge is on the left side of part L as shown. To connect part B2, first put four cam dowels or part 2F into part B2. 
and then connect it to part L and D2 in the position where the legs of B2 are on the side of part D2. and connect them with a hidden camps or part 1F. To connect part A2, first put two camp dowels or part 2F into part A2 and then attach part A2 so that the legs of part A2 are placed on the side of part D2. Then connect it to part D2 with two hidden cams or part 1F. Finally, to connect part N2 or the upper part of the storage, first put six cam dowels or part 2F into place and then connect it to the rest of parts with six hidden cams or part 1F. Connecting these pieces may be a little challenging, but it will be done with a little patience. When installing the hidden cams, make sure that the part N2 is completely connected to the rest of the parts and then tighten the hidden cams. Now turn the unit upside down with completely caution and without sudden and additional movement. Pay attention that this is a sensitive step and if you don't do it slowly and carefully, it will cause the storage to break completely. So if there is someone else with you, ask for help. Attach the skirt or part G2 to the bottom of the storage with three hidden cams or part 1F. Open the back of the storage or part M3 and place it on the storage so that the hole on it is on the side of the safety strap. It's better to put the safety strap in place at the end of assembly. It's possible that the holes on the back are not aligned with the storage body. So you can open the previous four screws and connect the back part to the storage body as shown. If the holes are in the same line, use four numbers 62 S screws to connect the four corners of the back to the butt. Create an even border along the top and bottom edge of the back or M3, then create an even border on the side edge of the back, pressing the opposite corner to your storage to make it square if needed.
Now connect the nails to the body according to the places mark on the back. When hammering the nails, make sure that the nails are in the middle. Use a hammer to drive the purple nut or part 14M into the holes of the H2 and P2 legs. Now turn the adjustable glide or part 18E into each of the purple knots. Now carefully place the storage vertically. Insert the door track or part 110M into the groove in the bottom part D2. If necessary, gently tap the door track into the bottom groove using a hammer. Connect three door track supports or part 105M to part F2 or the top of the storage. Use three screws or part 126S and use larger holes for connection. Connect a tapes cart or part 4M on two parts J and K. Then remove the back part from the tapes. Make sure that two layer of tape remain on the mold.
then connect part J to door or part O with three screws 85S and three washers part 91. Also connect part K to door, the same part J. Fasten the door wheels or part 98M to the wheel support or part 104M. Use two long barrel nuts or part 152M and two flat head screws or part 123S. To fasten the wheel support to the door, use four barrel nuts or part 109M and four machine screws or part 127S. Be sure to position the wheel support exactly as shown. At this situation, the door molding is hidden under the door. Fasten two retaining bars or part 155M to the door using four screws or part 140S. The support bars should move up and down easily. Attach the door handle or part 149K to the door with two machine screws or part 15S. Okay, I move on each and every day 
Fasten the door stops or part 106M to the door track tube or part 111M with two pan head screws or part 125S. The screw may turn it hard, so use a little extra force while turning these screws. Now hang the door in the middle of the door track tube as shown. After hanging, connect the door tube to the tube holder with 225S screws. Carefully push the retaining bars up and insert them inside the rail. Adjust the distance from the door to the storage with the screws above. If you remember, we connect two metal brackets or part F2 and now you should connect it to part A2 and B2 with two 1S screws. A slide a shelf molding or part I onto the notch edge of the one of the shelves or part E and do it the same for other three pieces. According to the distance you need for the shelves, place the metal pins or part 1R in the desired places and then install the plastic cover or part 2R on each one.
Now insert the shelf diagonally into the storage and install them with a little pressure. Remember that each shelf can hold approximately 20 pounds. To reduce the risk of pinching finger, install the bumpers or part 29M on the two sides of the door. And install the hidden cams cover or part 79P in the required places. You done and please be sure to install the safety strap on the wall and prevent unfortunate events. Don't forget what you need to do right now. Subscribe like and turn on all notification i hope this video has helped you in assembling this storage until next video see ya